Uh, pleasant good evening. Welcome to our Fridays Alive program here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. First post, 555, about 23 minutes away, getting pretty close to Peter Fast as always. Couple of carryovers, 20 cent single six a jackpot, better than $22,000 in the fourth race, and better than $3,500 for that super high five carryover in the nightcap. Let's get right into these changes coming up quickly here on the opener. In race one, scratch five, elegant taste, five elegant taste, scratch from the Fridays Alive opener. Three priceless picture. The correct ownership line should read Royer Family Stable LLC. For My Angelica has an additional workout thoroughbred training center, 8th of February. And that was a 3 8 move in 37 and 1 5th breezy. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight marks the 20th anniversary, anniversary of the unfortunate passing of our friend and colleague, Michael Rowland. Michael was a member of our Turfway Park Jockey Colony, and he passed away 20 years ago today on February 9, 2004. Michael was injured on February 4th when he suffered a massive head injury after a spill on our racetrack. He passed away five days later. Quite a career for Michael Rowland, a little bit shy of 4,000 victories. $28.6 million in earnings. Please join us in a moment of silence to remember our friend and colleague, Michael Rowland. Thank you. And there they go. Mamita Linda and Priceless Picture begin the best. I like comes up close. Silky Warrior breaks with the field this evening, and she's forwardly positioned, striding into the third spot inside of I like them. So with the lead, it is Mamita Linda. Mamita Linda making the pace into the second spot here is Silky Warrior. And along the inside is Priceless Picture. I like him. Is amongst the leading group. She's in the fourth spot and a little less than three lengths off the lead. Too clear of a real hero. Free time from the rail. A link to Divine Exchange. Racing with her is Dr. Bella. And at the tail of the field is My Angelica. They race past the 5-8s. Mamita Linda linked to Azilki, a warrior. I like him's into third, covering Priceless Picture. A real hero midfield. Five lengths off the lead. Half a length to free time. My Angelica from the rail, Divine Exchange from the outside, and at the tail of the field is Dr. Bella. Mamita Linda has the lead, heading into the far turn run of a length, then a tail to the inside, Silky Warrior. I like him as third. My Angelica is creeping a little closer at a big number up the inside. A real hero tries to kick it into gear with free time. And from the inside, Priceless Picture gives way. Divine Exchange is beginning her bid with a very wide charge. Nothing yet from Dr. Bella. Mamita Linda has led the entire trip, and she's at the 3 16ths with the lead. Silky Warrior is second. I like them's beginning her bid. Far outside, Divine Exchange. Mamita Linda, Silky Warrior, I like them. Gathering momentum in the center of the racetrack. And here is I like them to the outside. I like them. Front and center in the Friday's Alive opener from Sulky Warrior, Mamita Linda, and Divine Exchange, fourth for the Super Vecta. I like him. I like her. That's two in a row. How about this gal? Nine-year-old, a dark bear brown mare, finding the fountain of youth in her last couple of starts. She's by Courageous Cat out of the Strategic Mission Mare, Strategic Missile. She's owned by Priscilla Anthony. Bella Jetra on the winning trader, winning jockey, Fernando de la Cruz. Winner was bred in New York by Kathleen Varen, along with Chase Medley Ali Var. Exact of $35.42, the trifecta $193.88. Ten cent super, $107.15. Dollar superfecta, $1,071.58. Second race will begin the early pick four sequence. Overweight on the eight, Halcyon Days, two pounds over. 
Tyler Cotter's good at 120, so the overweight only with the eight. Halcyon Days now a couple pounds over. Early pick four in 23 minutes at 625. And there they go. Pretty good start for all. Mischief Jack and Save the Bees are both quickly into stride. Save the Bees making the pace for Mischief Jack. Here comes Peacock Road. She's right off the leaders. She's third along the inside. Ticket to Fly is in the fourth position. And farther out races Halcyon Days. Nurse Carolyn is along the rail with Our Girl Flint and White Dove. And Queen Lexi is the last of all. Save the Bees making the pace to the backstretch from Mischief Jack. Ticket the Fly has been eager to go. She takes over the third spot. Halcyon Days with a wide journey. Nurse Carolyn with the pink silks in the two path. She's in the fifth position, a little more than three lengths off the lead. Peacock Road from the rail. She maintains her spot along the inside. Our girl Flint has more than five lengths to make up. It's a length and a half to White Dove and at the tail of the field there remains Queen Lexi. So save the bees, 25 and one, 49 and four fifths, a length plus advantage. Mischief Jack, Nurse Carolyn, Our Girl Flint's now beginning to close in. Here comes Our Girl Flint. She's into the fourth spot. She gets within three lengths midway through the turn. And to the far outside is Halcyon Days. I'm going to ticket the fly, Peacock Road, White Dove, nothing from Queen Lexi. Save the bees, the one to come and catch. Nurse Carolyn really coming under pressure, trying to stay with Save the Bees. Save the Bees has the lead, approaching the eighth pole. Nurse Carolyn is second. Save the Bees has led the entire trip. She is still strong up front. Save the Bees, Nurse Carolyn. Save the Bees is going to go all the way from Nurse Carolyn. White Doves rolling into third from the far outside, and Peacock Road finishes fourth for the Superfecta. Save the bees and Perry Oots all the way with the top spot. Nine to one upsetter, 140 and 93 one hundredths. Nobody ever stepped up to save the bees. And she just kept on going up front two. A nurse Carol in a second, third place, a nine, white dove, fourth place, one peacock road. Three, two, nine, one unofficially in tonight's second race. Make sure to hold all the and the winner's circle is number three, Save the Bees. Three-year-old Bay Philly by Perzevichnest. And I just butchered that one. I knew I would. Distorted humor is the dam's a sire, and the dam is a honey talk. We have to work on that one, that is for sure. Owned by Smith, Red Gate Farm, LLC. Larry Smith getting close to a 1,000 training victories. That was 998, and it's Perry Oots, old man strength. 7,421 career scores for Perry. Save the Bees was bred in Kentucky by Brereton C. Jones. And tonight's second race is official, 3-2-9-1. That exact is $76.88. The trifecta get back to that payoff. How about the 10-cent super, $198.19. Dollar super, $1,981.19. And the 249 trifecta, $249.77. 10-3 early double, $66.09. Saw that winning sire, and believe me, the panic button was starting to set in. I'm going to have to work on that one. Third race, number three, Colton's Pride, a one pound over the weight. Seven, Big Tap. The weight's good at 127. Big Tap has an additional workout. That was at Oakland Park, 4th of February, 3 8 37 and 4 fifths. Freezing over at Muddy Racetrack. Our second race in 23 minutes at 6.55. All in there. And there they go. Vino Caldo from the top shelf, part of the pace, but Sky Key's quicker along with a couple from the inside. Colton's Pride and Sharpen Your Faith. Colton's Pride, Sharpen Your Faith. They are 1-2, and Sky Key attends the pace in the clear. He's stalking smartly from third. 
Steal the Road has the fourth position. And racing with him is favorite Han Vino Caldo from the far outside, almost a length in front of Stablemate Cheesesteak. Acasio's the gray along the inside. Big Tap is about six or seven lengths off the lead. He's more than three lengths in front of Unbridled Chaos. And over my limit is the last of 11 in long shot. Colton's Pride has the lead, a length to sharpen your faith. Here's Acasio, Sky Key from the far outside. Steal the road, first five separated by about two and a half lengths. And they're going to cheese steak. Cheese steak races with stable mate Vito Caldo from the top shelf, and favorite Haunt splits them. Big Tap has a little momentum heading into the turn. He's in the clear, and he gets within five lengths of the pace. About two lengths to Unbridled Chaos and Over My Limit. Colton's Pride, Sharpen Your Fate, Sky Key, Vino Caldo comes with a big run. Steal the roads in with a look. Steal the road along the inside with the blue blinkers at a big number. And Big Tap continues to close in. And She Stakes trying to wind up. And Favorite Haunt is there. Boy, they're coming from everywhere as they swing into the lane. Vino Caldo, Sky Key. And to the far outside is Cheese Steak. Cheese steak gets to the lead and he kicks clear. Big taps into second. Cheese steak has hit the front and he is the leader in deep stretch and he's a big number. Cheese steak. He's the winner from Big Tap. Favorite haunt and Vito Caldo checked in four. He is 10 to 1 in the wagering. There's a light right near the finish line that obstructs. The one's odds in the on the video board in the infield. I saw the zero. I was kind of thinking maybe there was a two or a three there, but it's 10 to 1 for Cheese Steak. And I guess he won like a 10 to 1 shot. He won pretty nicely. Joe Davis. Buck ending this super effect, I believe his other runner, Vino Caldo, finished fourth in this spot. Let the placing judges get to it. 140 and 29 one hundreds. Cheese Steak, his sixth look, gets him into the winner's circle. Here's the horse who had never hit the board. Recently did run fourth, but he doesn't have any top three finishes until tonight's big victory. A three-year-old bay gelding by Twirling Candy out of the unbridled song mare. Pretty Philly. That's the name, Cheese Steak. Ten cents, super effect of $428.81. Dollar super, $4,288.14. Ten three, one early pick three, a good one, $434.67. One seven exact to three hundred two dollars six cents. One seven eight try back to five hundred fifty two dollars sixty three cents. Three one double, one hundred sixty five dollars fifty two cents. Fourth race twenty two minutes away at seven twenty five. It will start the twenty cent single six a jackpot. Little more than twenty two thousand dollar carryover scratch nine English Tide. Nine English Tide. Scratch from this upcoming uh, fourth race. And there they go. Hal, an easy operator, quickly away. El Rocio from the top shelf attends the pace. Holiday House comes away running in a fourth. Halloween has the fifth position, then ready pursued, fade the noise. And Catapari is the last of eight. An easy operator has the lead almost the length to Holiday House. Hal's in the third spot. El Rocio from the extreme outside, two and a half lengths off the lead. Almost a length to Halloween, a little less than three and a half from Easy Operator. Here's Fade the Noise beginning to pick up his momentum. He's in the two path and he's outside of Halloween. Ready Pursuit has a good six and a half to make up and Catapottery seven lengths off the lead. And it's Easy Operator with the lead and Holiday House continues to chase the pace. Halloween gets a little closer up the inside. Fade the noise now under a drive. El Rocio from the extreme outside. Catapottery begins to close in. Still got to come and get Easy Operator. Easy Operator has the lead at the eighth pole. Chasing him is Halloween. And Holiday House and Easy Operator keeps on going up front. He's nine to one. Easy Operator, gate to wire. Halloween second, then Holiday House. Three-way photo for third. Maybe El Rocio right there with him. Ready pursued and fade the noise from between runners. There's a horse stepping up in class. A couple of races back, he was fourth behind fade the noise. Turned the tables on that rival this evening. Easy Operator's third career victory. 
It's a gate to wire winner. He covered the distance in a good time. 110 and 47 one hundredths. Very nice run from Easy Operator, the unofficial winner of tonight's board. Easy Operators in the winner's circle. That is two in a row. A six-year-old Omega Gelding by Caleb's Posse out of the Trippy Mare Trip to the Stars. Run by Charlie Hancock along with Genevieve Landano, Genevieve Landano, the winning trainer, the winning jockey, Gabriel Saez. Winner was bred in Indiana by one of the owners, Charlie Hancock. That exact $104.66, the trifecta $103.58, a one four double $177.74. 10 cents Superfecta, $143. Dollar Superfecta, $1,430.09. Three one four pick three, a good one, $703.48. Fifth race starts the late pick five. No changes to report. Post time in about 24 minutes. And there they go. Slow start, cloudy holiday. Anthem King towards the tail of the field. Bolt at midnight, gunned aggressively from the inside. Last U turns up close from the second spot, but it is Bolt at midnight. He's going to take advantage of that favorable draw, and it is Bolt at midnight quickly away from last U turn. Here comes Dashed from the extreme outside. Gambling George is a little eager to go from the inside. Army officer right there with him, three lengths off the pace. Ask Arthur, five lengths from the front, joined by Anthem King. Better than three lengths to hold out. From the inside is a drift. Cloudy Holiday is second last, and the lone debuter, can't you see, is the last of 11, and Bolt at midnight has the lead. Three parts of a length. Dashed is right there in the second spot. Army officer taking over third from last U-turn. Gambling George fifth from the rail. Anthem Kings in the sixth spot. He's three deep heading into the turn. Five lengths from the front. He's more than two lengths in front of Cloudy Holiday and Ask Arthur. About three to hold out. Another two and a half to a drift. And can't you see is still at the back and Bolt at midnight still has the leader. Comes Anthem King and Army officer. Bolt at midnight's the leader. Army officer's under a drive. Anthem King's there. Bolt at midnight still with plenty left. Army officer under a vigorous drive. And from the outside is Anthem King. Ask Arthur's trying to close in with Cloudy Holiday. They got to come and get Bolt at midnight. He still tends to his business, arriving at the eighth pole with a widening three-length lead. And there goes Bolt at midnight. Now he's slapping more than four lengths on his rivals. Anthem King has solidified second, but he's no threat to Bolt at midnight, a powerful gate-to-wire winner. Anthem King clearly second, Army Officer third, checking in fourth was Ask Arthur. Eight to five favorite, one bolt at midnight, aggressively sent to the lead immediately out of the gate by Luan Machado. Bolt at midnight, never looked back. You can see right around the quarter pole that Army Officer and Anthem King were going to be running for a minor placing. Luan still had a plenty of three-year-old underneath them, and it was Bolt at midnight, a powerful winner of tonight's fifth race. Look at the final time. That's a good one, fans. 137 and 34 one hundreds. Good-looking winner in the winner's circle. His name is Bolt at midnight, a three-year-old dark bear brown colt by Bolt de Oro out of the Midnight Loot Mare, My Midnight Affair by Ruiz Racing LLC. Winning a trainer is Mick Ruiz. Winning a jockey, Luan Machado. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Ruiz Racing LLC. That consolation version of the double four eight accommodation, $9.78. Early pick four, $1,732.84. One three exacta, $13.66. One three nine trifecta, $12.86. Four one daily double, $33.07. $0.10 cent Super, $28.55. Dollar Superfecta, $285.55. One four one pick three, $166.93. One four eight Consolation pick three, $52.77. 
early pick five, six thousand seven hundred twenty-one dollars fifty-two cents. Four out of five, sixty-six dollars forty-four cents. Race six will start our late pick four. Eight and ten both scratched. High alert and cash me up. Eight and ten out of this upcoming six. Five best man speech. Two pounds over. Our late pick four in twenty-three minutes at eight thirty. And there they go. Pretty good start for all. Ramsey, best man speech. They're hustled along. Road to Versailles also quickly showing pace from the inside. And it is Road to Versailles flying along from the inside. And he makes the pace from best man speech. And here's Book of Kells into the second spot. Ramsey from between runners by Sanctuary. Three wide speed institute from the rail. Channel Z is second last. And Spun Sun is the last of eight. And he's a little more than eight or nine lengths from the leader, Road to Versailles, who flew away from the inside, leads by nearly two lengths at the five-eighths to Book of Kells. My Sanctuary in the clear from the far outside. Best man speech from the inside. Ramsey has the fifth position, four lengths from the front to his outside speed institute. Spun Sun is second last. He's outside of Channel Z. Still Road to Versailles calling the shots. Leads by a length and a half or two heading into the turn from Book of Kells. Best man speech from the inside. Ramsey two wide. My Sanctuary 3D. Here comes Speed Institute. Speed Institute, four wide through the turn, and he's gaining ground. And Spun Sun is trying to pick up his stride. He's five lengths off the lead. Channel Z's at the back. Road to Versailles went very quickly early, and he still has the lead. Here comes Speed Institute. Book of Kells also in the battle. Spun Sun continues to make up a lot of ground to the outside. Here comes Spun Sun. He's trying to close in after Road to Versailles. Road to Versailles still tending to his business. Speed Institute, Spun Sun. They're running out of time. Road to Versailles, Speed Institute, Road to Versailles. All the way from the inside from Speed Institute, Spun Sun. Buck of Kells checked in fourth. Luan Machado, I guess it worked in race five. Let's repeat the same tactics in race six. Inside horse, send him away aggressively, and hang on. It was a lot easier in the fifth, but Road to Versailles did all the heavy lifting. Boy, Speed Institute made that big rush through the turn. You could see Spun Sun was really gearing up. And they were coming on pretty quickly, trying to come and tag. Road to Versailles, 139 and 84 one hundredths, the final time from the six. In the winner's circle is number one, Road to Versailles, a four year old of a gelding by Equality Road out of the Tisway Mare, Way to Versailles, owned by Gary Barber, run in Kentucky by Gary, winning trader Mark Cassie, back to back for Luan Machado. Back-to-back, -back, wire to wire wins from the inside for the Axeman. 481 pick three, $17.72. That's a consolation version of that pick three. One two exact to $41.92. One two four trifecta, $61.58. One one Axeman, a double Luan Machado's, double eight dollars eighty-four cents. Ten cent super, sixty-seven dollars sixty-two cents. Dollar superfecta. Six hundred seventy-six dollars twenty-two cents. Four one one pick three. Sixty-three dollars fifty-six cents. Seventh race. Joe Talamo, new jockey. One unanimous consent. Two Magar the fast. One pound over. One unanimous consent with an additional workout. Thoroughbred Trading Center. Third of February. Half mile move. Fifty-two seconds breezing over a fast track. Seventh race. We'll start our late pick three. It's in twenty-one minutes. At eight fifty-eight. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go. Makar the fast is fast from the inside. Unanimous consent, gun from the inside. We've seen those tactics work the previous two races. Here's unanimous consent. 
from the inside, contesting the pace, but not quite as quick as a couple of others, which include Colba Loaf and Epimethium. And here's PH Factor joining the leader line from the outside. Unanimous consent is in the fourth position. Hurry on out right alongside of him. Makar the fast broke alertly, settles off the pace. From the inside is Military Force. And further out in the field, with military force racing with military force. Well, let's just get back to the top spot. And with the lead, PH Factor along with Kobolov. PH Factor and Kobolov in the third position. Races Epimethium. Hurry on out is in the fourth spot. And he's a little more than three lengths off the lead. After him races Unanimous Consent. As they race to the far turn run, the one that's been giving me all sorts of troubles is Good Governance. It's Good Governance who was the horse giving me troubles, and he's on the move chasing after Hurry On Out. So PH Factor has the lead. Hurry On Out and Good Governance pick up the chase together. Epimethium also progressing along the inside. PH Factor, Good Governance. Hurry On Out still in the battle. Epimethium had to check off heels. It's Good Governance. Hurry On Out from between runners. PH Factor still keeps on going. PH Factor and Good Governance. PH Factor, Good Governance. Epimethium with a trouble trip. Hurry on out gives way just a bit. Short list from the extreme outside. PH Factor, Epimethium, good governance. Good governance has his head in front at the 16th. Epimethium fights on. Good governance, Epimethium. Good governance. Good governance from Epimethium. English challenge farther back there. Short list and PH Factor. Just an announcer's luck. The horse giving him all sorts of trouble in the race call is the one that's going to sustain his run all the way to the wire. That was the four good governance. He's finally able to figure it out. Four good governance at five to two. How about the six Epimethium? He had somewhat of a trouble trip at a big number. Third place, eight English challenge. And we'll need a photo for fourth. 138 and 87 one hundredths. The final time from the seventh. Please hold all tickets. And the winner's circle is the four good governance. Eight-year-old bay horse by Kingman out of the Royal Applause Mare. Please sing. By Foxbrook Farm LLC. Winning a trainer is Anna Neverett. And the winning uh, jockey is Sonny Leo. The winner was bred in Great Britain by Michael Waits. After Super Vecta, $476.74. Dollar super better than forty-seven hundred dollars. Exact to one hundred fifty-seven dollars twenty cents. Try back to two hundred sixty-six dollars thirty-five cents. One four double, seventeen dollars eighty-six cents. The dollar super effect, a nice payoff. Four thousand seven hundred sixty-seven dollars forty-nine cents. One one four, pick three twenty-six dollars seventy-seven cents. Race eight is the Friday's Alive featured event. A very nice allowance race. Optional claiming tag of $25,000. Six and a half furlongs the sprint distance. Scratch eight, pin fire eight, pin fire. Scratch from our Friday's Alive feature, which will start our late daily double and it's in 22 minutes at 9.20. And there they go. Race driver quickly away. Also showing pace is Cusp. Fast boat the sky from the top shelf. Clear the air with somewhat of a troubled opening quarter. And here comes Artonis to contest the pace. Clear the air. Boy, he is very rank and erratic through the initial stages. Pine Knolls outside of Laver. Crosstown shootout second last. And Ironsides is the last of all. Zartonis and Race Driver. They battle for the top spot. And there goes Fast Boat to Sky from the far outside. And clear the air from the inside. Cusp is back to the fifth position. Laver is sixth. There's Crosstown shootout. Pine Knolls in the two path, and Ironsides is still at the back. Zartonis is the leader. Zartonis from Race Driver. Fast Boat the Skies in the third spot. Here comes Crosstown shootout with a nice blitz into contention. Also closing in Ironsides. Clear the air. Still needs somewhere to go, but a troubled trip for him. They're starting to bunch up near the top spot, and it's Zartonis, and there's Crosstown Shootout with the sustained run. Race drivers there in behind the leading group, Fast Boat to Sky. Farther on the field, Ironsides. Extreme outside, Pine Knoll. Crosstown Shootout, the Axeman looking for three on the Friday's Alive card. Crosstown Shootout. Crosstown Shootout up in class, and he wins very nicely from Zartonis. Race driver and Pine Knoll late on the scene into fourth. How about this effort from Crosstown Shootout? 
As soon as the Crosstown shootout was done with his post parade, Luan just gave him a free rein, and boy, did he take off. What a warm-up this horse put in. Crosstown shootout full of himself on the class. Hike 13 to 1. 117 at 19 one hundredths the final time. And the winner's circle is the one Crosstown shootout. That is a two in a row. Eight-year-old Dark Bayer Brown Gelding is 11th overall. He's by Cross a Traffic out of the Cactus Ridge Mare Zelly Zelly. All by TEC Racing. Winning trainer Jesus Esquivel. Three on the night for the Axeman. Luan Majado. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Ann Wall. Double digits for the top four, 1743. Top four finishers, $224.62 for that exact, $471.48 for the try, 10 cents super, $506.35. Dollar super fact of $5,063.55. Four one daily double, $62.46. 141 a pick three, $84.43. One more race to go. Super high five, a carryover, $3,535. A couple of scratches here in the nightcap, one and 10. Vagabond Shoes and Mr. Bali. Post time in 22 minutes and 9.56. Ready for the Friday's Alive nightcap. And there they go. Swift start, kid marvelous. Tarhe also away fast. And from the inside, here's Chitwood. And Chitwood picks it up from Kid Marvelous. Tarhay's third. He races outside of St. Rocco. Vernon Ash is isolated in the fifth spot, five lengths off the lead. And he's two and a half in front of Libertango outside of Meadow Value. Noble Gentleman second last. And rate confirmation is the early trailer. And Chitwood is the speed of the speed. But the favorite, Kid Marvelous, is right there stalking very intently. Tarre has more than four lengths to make up in the third spot. Vernon Ash joins him from the inside. It's about four lengths back to Noble Gentleman. Noble Gentleman is trying to advance with a three-wide charge. He has momentum through the turn. Along the inside races St. Rocco. As with the lead, it's Chetwood. Chetwood still has the lead to the quarter pole. And Kid Marvelous has been chasing this leader for quite some time. Chetwood has been hit hard in the concluding stages of the wagering. He needs three sixteenths to get to the wire. Kid Marvelous continues to pursue relentlessly to the outside. Chetwood can't shake away from Kid Marvelous. Kid Marvelous right alongside of Chetwood. And Kid Marvelous is up to the front. Kid Marvelous, Burnin' Ash late on the scene into second. Kid Marvelous from Burnin' Ash. Then Noble Gentleman, Chetwood fourth. Tare fifth for the super. High five. 118 and 30, 100s, number eight, Kid Marvelous. Just relentless in the nightcap. Chitwood ran big all the way to the top of the lane. Chitwood was still going pretty good. But it is a Kid Marvelous with that relentless charge. Just a tremendous pursuit to gain that top spot throughout the running of the race. And it is Kid Marvelous in the nightcap from nine, Burden Ash second. Third place, two noble gentlemen. Fourth place, six Chitwood. And fifth place, 11 Tarhe. Eight, nine, two, six, 11, 118, and 30, 100. It's the final tie from the night kid. Kid Marvelous is in the winner's circle. That's two out of three. A five year old Abay Gelding by a stern out of the Lemon Drop Kid Mare Nutmeg. Owned by John Ennis, Daily Double Racing. And Marcuse of Thoroughbreds, John Ennis, the winning trader, winning jockey, Adam Baskitza, the dynamic duo. John and Adam. Winner was bred in Kentucky by one of the owners, Marcuse of Thoroughbreds. It's Kane Marcuse. And here we go with the prices. Late pick for $339.49. 10 cents super, $24.63. Dollar super pack to $246.32. 20 cent single six carryover, $25,178.92. 418 late pick, $387.20. Pick five, $643.07. Super high five, $1,295.07. 89 exacted from the night cap, $17.80. 892 trifecta, $28.18. 18 late daily double, $35.76. Pick six pays $2,194.34. Four, 
Four out of five and our Friday's Alive Late Pick Five, ten dollars twenty-six cents. Better than six hundred forty-three dollars for the Late Pick Five. Six hundred forty-three dollars and seven cents. That's a wrap on the Friday's Alive card. Still all sorts of great entertainment down on the gaming floor. Check out the race and sports book. Live entertainment all the way up until midnight with a bourbon and brew in the bourbon and brew, and that's with three piece revival. So if you're interested in listening to some live music, head on down to Bourbon and Brew. Three piece revival. Getting it on all the way up until midnight. We're back at it again tomorrow, 555 for the Saturday opener. Sure hope you had a great Friday's alive and leaving the track plays. Drive very carefully. This has been racing from Turfway Park, racing and gaming. Get at it.